Welcome to the channel, human. It's time for Terrence to talk about raising Dion season two because you got a lot of goofy motherfuckers out there talking about uh, representation and inclusion, but they want it in an unnatural way. And then you get something natural like raising Dion and it's crickets. You don't hear nothing from these motherfuckers. But I enjoyed raising Dion season one, so it was a no brainer for me to check out season two. You have a little bit of a time jump. You know, Dion's a little older. You know, he still has his cool friends, some of the coolest friends you'll ever see in Esperanza and Jonathan, the Triangle of Justice, I believe they called the little group. And uh, Esperanza and Jonathan, they always there for Dion. It don't matter what kind of danger he's in or if they're trying to watch his back so he doesn't get caught using his powers. They're, those are some great friends. You, Those are the kind of friends you want in your corner. You know what I mean? And uh, Esperanza this season is fucking amazing. Like there was a moment where she was dealing with Brayden, who has like the crooked man in him, in a sense, this time instead of Pat. Like he was trying to take over her mind like you will do what I say. And then Esperanza was like, "Nah, I'm good. He's like, but I'm controlling your mind. And she was like, yeah, I heard you, nigga. I have more willpower than you and anyone else you've met. I ain't listening to shit. I was like, yeah, she definitely has more willpower than most adults because most adults be on some bitch shit and they like to make excuses instead of figuring out what they need to do to be strong, right? So I was like, shout out to Esperanza. Jonathan's cool. You got a couple um, couple other uh, black people that have powers in this, like uh, Janelle and Tevin. You know, they're pretty cool in what they could do. And Tevin was looking out for Dion acting as a mentor uh, to, you know, help him on his journey of still figuring out his powers and stuff like that. And Dion, he has a lot of power. And it seemed like there's always a time where he just comes up with a brand new power to deal with a situation. This is truly an impressive character from a power standpoint. On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being horseshit on a hot, smelly-ass day, and 10 being mind-blowingly amazing, I'm going to give Raising Dion Season 2 an 8.5 out of 10. I think it really amps up on the action, you know, creates a little bit more spectacle, um, because Dion has been using his power for a while and we understand that he's powerful. You don't really have the mystery element that you, you know, have in the first season. This is more about getting in the swing of things, doing more of what we like and kind of continuing on that path. You know, uh, Brayden, the little boy, the villain with the crooked man inside of him. This is a boy that went through some sad fucked up shit. You know what I mean? And the crooked man energy if you will feeds off of that just like it fed off of pat uh his bitch ass decides to show up this season talking about i'm better i'm here to help i'm like nah motherfucker i don't trust you because the crooked man feeds off of negative energy and emotions right and it just takes advantage of you so that shit has to already be in you so pat was already like a spineless uh bad manipulative emotional motherfucker and you got to be careful of a man that's too emotional you know what i'm saying any man that that's too emotional experiences jealousy and all this weak bullshit yeah he gonna be a problem if something evil get up inside of him but um i do like how dion was using his powers dion's mom is awesome uh his aunt like dion's mom is what you would call a strong black woman and she has been by dion's side you know just helping him navigate his powers understanding that, you know, you got to keep your powers a secret. You can't just be out there flashing them in front of humans because humans are trash. You know, look, look at what they do to each other. Imagine them seeing somebody with powers. They would act a goddamn fool. And you already know humans are fucking trash. But I just like how there's a sense of intensity and urgency for everything that's happening because it happens so fast. And unfortunately, Raising Dion got canceled, so we won't be getting a season three. And it's just interesting to, to me, like I said, when you have a show like this and all those weird fucking humans that want inclusion and representation in the wrong way, meaning that they, you know, want uh, race swapping and gender swapping and changing the sexual orientation of characters. Those motherfuckers, they weren't nowhere to be found when uh, Raising, uh, C Raising Dion like season two came out. They weren't even around for Raising Dion season one. And this is the bullshit I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? When they present something like this, nobody wants to say nothing, but they want to change shit that's already been established. It makes no goddamn sense to me. But look, I think you should check out Raising Dion. It's a very uh, character-driven kind of show, uh, big on story. 
You do have some power usage and stuff like that, but it's really about the characters and storytelling first, which is why the show is, is so good, and it's a shame that it's over now. Terrence out.